and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swisher and reviewing Walmart. This definitely was the gap of the week and had a long discussion about this in the trading room yesterday. Um, this is an option trade. If you're in it, you're in it. It looks amazing because quite frankly, it is going to take off like a rocket. When? When it hits probably over 100. Over 100 and over the high from yesterday. The earnings was last night. This was a day trade in the trading room yesterday. And it looks amazing here. I mean, I can't say one bad thing about this Walmart. So the high of yesterday was 121. And the market is attempting to hold and it is holding. Wow. So Walmart is higher. For the people that stuck with it, if you took it, depending on what price you took it yesterday, as far as the option, you might have been down yesterday. But this is going to work. So sometimes they work the day that I call them. Sometimes they take one or two days. So this is one that you knew into the close then it was gonna take more than the one day, but I felt extremely confident with this. The day trade did work yesterday, and uh, we'll see really where this goes. Again, previous highs of Walmart is 110. And I honestly, honestly believe that this is going to make new highs sooner rather than later. Uh, and this is rallying, even though the market is rallying today, this I think would be rallying anyways, but it did gap down with the market today. That's the reason it gapped down. It held very well. It looks like it rallied right out of the gate. So Walmart is the gap of the week. It's a bullish gap, which is unusual, but it definitely is the gap of this week for the, for the, for the long-term trades. Let's put it that way. Macy's was a gap of the week for the shorts, for the day trades, but this for long-term trades, Walmart really, I just can't say enough about this. So good luck to everyone that's in the train and we'll see where it goes.